So I just want to quickly talk about like how do you graph functions. So you have some function f of x and you're not sure how to graph it. Okay, so here's the thing. For any function, f of x equals y. So what this means is that f of x and y, these are interchangeable. So that's it really. <laughs> um, there's nothing like special about f of x that makes it different from graphing anything else. And the reason why is because f of x and y, they are interchangeable. So if I were to look at something like f of x equals 3x plus 1. Okay, like this is the same thing as y equals 3x plus 1. And so you might be asking, well, then why not just call it that? So depending on what you're doing, sometimes it's helpful to think of things in the context of f of x, and other times it's it's helpful to think of it in the context of y. So the context matters as it often does in, in math. And so that's why just knowing this is very, very helpful. And then you can flip back and forth between the context as needed. And so I'm assuming that you know how to graph this as this is just a line. So, you know, since I know this, I can set up my graph. And then this is just effectively a line. So this has the y-intercept of one. So I'll mark one on the y-axis, and then I have a slope of three, so that means go up three over one. So I'll go up one, two, three, over one, so there's another point. Connect them, boom. Okay, so if we do this again, so I have g of x equals four. So again, any function can just be replaced with y. So I'm just gonna replace this with y equals four. And so then looking at this, so this is really just a horizontal line. So if I set up my, my graph, so it's a horizontal line at y equals four. So here's where y equals four, and then I can just draw the line this way. And so yeah, so really quick explanation, but sometimes this kind of throws people off. So I wanted to make a really quick video on it. So uh, if you found that helpful, consider hitting that like button and I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.